Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the next episode of European Reactions on Punjabi TV. What's up everybody? How are you doing today? Actually, I was about to record this video alone, but I we realized as Punjabi TV team in general that you guys enjoyed our uh, brotherly reactions together with Victor. So actually, I grabbed him, put it put him here and made him re reacting with me to this vlog which has been uh, su suggested by the way but uh, by a lot of people yeah that's the only reason mike with all respect to you i came not for you i oh. came for these guys yeah okay who are watching us who were requesting this <laughs> video that much all the time staying with us connected commenting sharing and subscribing to our channel if it will be only for you, I will not move even finger in my place. So guys, thank you very much. You are with us, you are with me, and you made him actually to come in here and react with me. You should be grateful to the people because when you were calling me, uh -huh. I was just on my bed, chilling, laying, actually uh, checking my phone. But then I realized, okay, and this is for our people. So I was like on the phone, Mike, I'm going there. If it's for you guys, I'll be always there. For those who are here very first time, guys, if you like this video and you enjoy our content in general, you can always subscribe our channel, you can hit the bell, it will notify you by email about every single video which is released through Punjabi TV uh, in comment section below. You, you can also find um, social media of Punjabi TV as well as social media of all of us. So you can always keep uh, be in touch with us to write us your comments about our work, uh, your suggestions, your ideas about new episodes, uh, you can bring us new vlogs and stuff, you can also approach us privately and just check in and sh say hello Say hello and share how are you today and stuff like that. And before we are going and react on the video that you guys suggest, I would personally love to say thank you to Rai Sultan. Brother Rai Sultan, thank you very much for your constant support. You are as a brother for me and also to Ale. You always leave your beautiful comments under all our videos. You treat me as your brother and my beautiful Alejandra, my girlfriend, as your sister. And we share these all feelings to you. Absolutely the same. Uh, once we go Pakistan, we definitely want to meet with you because from your beautiful words, we are so excited to see you and thank you very much once again for all your precious time for watching us and to being in touch with us as our family member all the time and thank you very much to all people who kept suggesting us uh, this beautiful video about Sawad Wadi in northern area of Pakistan yeah Mike uh, we already travel a little bit from our studio to northern part of Pakistan with uh, Eva Zubek and Rosie Gabriel but we never seen and we never react uh, on Swat Wali where Jordan Taylor will take us today so let's go so I think we should go yeah I don't know what we are doing here yet <laughs> It's nice, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she is, but it, it looks like pretty ancient. Yeah. <laughs> My next adventure in Pakistan was heading to Suwat, which was a five-hour drive from Islamabad. Suwat is a gorgeous valley known for its forests, mountains, and beautiful views. Very beautiful views. Mm -hmm. But there was somewhere that I had to stop along the way. At the ruins wow. of an ancient Buddhist monastery wow. called Taktbai.
Good morning guys. I have driven into, <laughs> it's about to rain. <laughs> um, this morning I have driven into the north through such beautiful countryside, actually reminding me so much of Italy, just rolling green hillsides and um, tall trees and houses on hilltops. There is a Buddhist monastery here at the top of a hilltop, so I am currently climbing up 282 stairs to reach the top. It looks really, really amazing view above driving in. Well, it is raining quite a lot. There are these beautiful green hillsides here beside the ruins and a lot of it is reminding me, I don't know, it looks like what you might find in Scotland or Wales, I imagine. Like the rainy weather and the mysterious ruins and the green rolling hills. This is really beautiful. I just wish that it would stop raining a little bit so that I could film for you guys. Right now I am in the area of the main stupa and this is where in ancient times, I believe 2200 years ago, this was built. Wow. The worshippers would walk around the stupa seven times, uh, similar to in Islam. And then up, you can mm. see there's more of it up there. <laughs> this is, this is so pretty. <laughs> Right now I am walking through the meditation cells and they're kind of in this cave. There's all of these doorways that are so, so tiny and little stone rooms that just disappear into darkness and I can go and explore any one of them I want. There's all these bats in here flying at my head. People were meditating. Mm -hmm. it's nice and it's made from very small stones. Oh, look, bats! <laughs> I will be scared. Mm -hmm. Even though Talked By is not in Swat Valley, Swat was formerly a part of the Gontara civilization and talked by is one of Gontara's best preserved sites. I am now inside one of the meditation rooms and it's just completely black in here with one little line of light uh, illuminating this dusty floor. And this is so amazing. I feel such an explorer. Hmm. This monastery was built during the first century. Mm, yeah. Its position on a rocky hilltop protected it from invasion, even during the time when Alexander the Great conquered the Gandharan civilization. The monastery operated for 600 years until it was abandoned in the 7th century. It was only rediscovered around the 1850s, but still to this day, much of the monastery and the town that surrounded it remains unexcavated. For thousands of years, pilgrims have been coming here from China, Buddhist monks, 
Um, they would come here sometimes just on a pilgrimage to come and worship and also um, sometimes to stay because this was the site of a university for Buddhist monks. There's, you know, living quarters for the monks, there's kitchens, there's places where they would eat. So you do get a sense of the daily life of the monks. Something that is so fascinating and crazy about this place is that so much of it is still undiscovered. So much still has to be exactly. excavated. Mm -hmm. Only 35% of the area has been excavated and uncovered. So there's still a lot of mystery about this place and so much more in these hilltops. You see these crumbling castle sort of structures. That is amazing. Mm, yeah, beautiful. 2,200 and it's still there. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. right now, um, kind of beneath the ancient ruins, and um, it's so cool because there are all of these ruined buildings up in the hilltops above me right now, and it's kind of crazy because from where I have come from in Pakistan so far, and now coming to this landscape, this is classified as a mountainous jungle, so we have seen quite a few different landscapes. We have come from deserts and seas to jungles and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just it is. kind of yeah. strange when you've just been in the desert and now you're in the jungle just by driving. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Wow. I think it's you Thai. Can yes, for sure. Oh. Thai. <laughs> yeah. Want in Pakistan, even in the ruins of ancient <laughs> civilizations and the jungle. Okay, back in the car now. It is very hot and humid outside. Now I am headed straight to Suwat, which is about a two hour drive away. Driving along the most beautiful roads right now. They are so winding through the mountains and the towns are all below and it is so, so beautiful. I knew she was going to show us the roads mm -hmm. that she just mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, going to be sure. beautiful. Even driving into Swat was just breathtaking. I don't think it comes across on film at all how stunning this drive was. I eventually put down the camera and just enjoyed the views that this area is famous for. It was so beautiful, it made me a bit sad because I knew that I wouldn't get to have much time here. But it was either two days or none, so obviously I went with two days for now because I had to see this place. This place made such an impression on me in such a short amount of time. Suat has a rich and long history. It's no secret that it's gone through dark times, and yet the people of Suat remain incredibly welcoming and open. <laughs> Everyone that I met was so genuine, so full of life. Wow, they're just dancing there in the middle of the street. It's so, so beautiful. Wow, I love this. Look at these beautiful, beautiful views. Everything is so green in the mountains in the distance. There are cows. <laughs> down by the river and it is just so so pretty mm. so much green yeah if you just show me the picture i wouldn't say it but it's no <laughs> not at all Wow. 
There is so much life, right? Yeah, oh, that's that is sad. <clears throat> That is so nice. Yeah. Pure feelings, you know. Apparently, um, one of the guys from that group had just gotten married, mm. so they were celebrating. I was standing here, and then they pulled up a little bit down the road and just ran out of their car the music on and started dancing like all within the space of maybe five seconds so yeah that's one of the things that i really love about being here in pakistan and the people here because everyone is just so ready to have fun at like yeah. a moment's notice and sometimes like you don't even really get why but <laughs> it's great <laughs> that was so fun good morning guys today i am walking around the small town of Islampura. It is a historic um, small village in Sawat. There's just all of these narrow uh, streets and passageways that I'm walking down right now. I don't really have many plans. I just want to walk around and mm -hmm. see. Oh, this one has a ceiling, this road. And you go over here. <laughs> As I am walking down these little corridor sort of streets, if you hear that right now, that is the sound of them um, weaving, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna try and find a place where I can see that because it looks so cool. As you can see, all of these streets are immaculately clean, and uh, it's really nice. The birds are singing, the air is so fresh over here, and this is um, another of the places where everyone oh. is weaving. Mm -hmm. And then you come out of the winding little streets and you see the hills and the green mountains over there. I have come to a part of the village where they are making all of these handicrafts and that is the noise that you hear behind me of them weaving. It is just such beautiful, intricate work that they are doing using their hands and their feet. And there's a bunch of them all over here. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love all of these handicrafts, my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I have to admit that on this trip, with it being so short and being surrounded by such amazing people sharing pieces of their lives with me, these are the times when I'm never sure whether or not I should pick up the camera. Again, this beautiful food. Mm -hmm. I left Swa feeling refreshed and inspired, except for my worry that maybe I hadn't filmed it well enough. Would I really be able to tell you all what it was like? I hope that I have. Either way, I'll be back very, very soon. Guys, Jordan Taylor took us today to SWAT. 
and it was amazing, amazing. Uh, personally, me, I enjoyed the video. What about you, man? Yeah, me too. I, I am very surprised uh, how green it is, actually. Yes. Also, on the way to the uh, Swat Valley, she entered to this monastery, which was built, as she uh, say on the video, 2,200 years back. And my question only coming to you, Mike, do you think our generation can build something that can't stay for 2,000 years? That's a good question. I am not sure if I have an, an answer for that. Neither I. Yeah. And it was made from small, small pieces. Yeah. I totally love it. Another part I love when this guy, he just got uh, married. People just stand in the middle of the street and let's yeah. celebrate. Let's throw the party right there. Yeah, Why that, not express your happiness? For sure. That for sure, if, if, if I will do it here, the people might not kind of like it or something but this is like pure imp like expression of your feelings like i'm happy now i'm dancing whatever place i stay so that uh, i really love also i love of these beautiful shots of a uh, swat wally and everything mm -hmm. so much green uh, as you say and this video again making me more and more <laughs> excited that is like mike when we are going there <laughs> When we take all our Punjabi TV team and we go to see all of you guys. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, for staying with us till this moment. Thank you, Vic. You finally decided to join me today in this video. I, I joined, guys. For sure. I hope this collaboration will be going on and on. If not for me, then for them. The collaboration with our friends, there <laughs> should be. But with you, I cannot promise. Well, anyways, guys. Right now, we are about to finish. Thank you once, ag once again. Everything you need to contact us is right below. For don't forget about subscribing, sharing, liking, and see you in the next episode of European Reaction on... Punjabi TV. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>